The National Party has announced its candidates to stand in the Napier electorate against incumbent MP and Cabinet Minister Stuart Nash in the 2023 general election. And we have her here today, so thank you Katie Nimmin for being with us. Thank you for having me, appreciate it. So what does it mean to be selected for a second time round? It, it really means a lot and it means that I get to hit the ground running. We've laid a huge foundation from last election and we can continue on that. We built some amazing momentum so it's just a huge, huge deal for me to be able to just get in and get cracking. Mm -hmm. don't have to build that, that foundation again uh, and I can just keep going, build off the momentum and, and just start now. And as mentioned, you are up against a cabinet minister, one of the senior members of the Labour team, successful um, electorate MP, and he's won by huge margins in the past. What do you think you can do to beat him? Well, we cut into his margin pretty well last time, uh, which was awesome for us. And, and like I say, that's the momentum we're building on. And I think we can do a pretty good job this time. Um, but I think the big difference is that I'm here. I'm actually in the electorate and I'm connected to the electorate. And, and I don't, you know, you don't see him around. And I think that's really noticed by people. But actually, when you're a cabinet minister, you just can't spend that same level of time. And so sure, he might have done good things in the past, but people notice now that he's not here fighting for them. And, and so I think there's a huge need and want for someone to be here, be in Napier and be present and listening to people, you know, and a fresh set of eyes and someone with energy and someone that's dynamic. So here I am. Mm. And Napier is known to be a very parochial um, area. Why do you think you have what it takes and what do you offer Napier? So I think that for me it's about being connected, being connected to the region. Uh, I work in the region, I am you know, very connected to the whole of the electorate and people forget that it's not just Napier City. You know, the electorate runs all the way up to Murawai and Matawai and I know people in all of those areas and campaigned really hard in those areas last time as well. So you know, I think it's actually about having knowledge, having experience and, and working for the community and then being able to apply that to the National Party and at a national level. So you know, I think taking that to all reaches of the electorate is going to make a big difference for them. And some may say you might have had a better chance perhaps in the Toki Toki electorate. You are uh, from Havelock North. Why Napier? Well, Napier's where I choose to live. I love Napier. I work in Napier. Napier's where we're going to start our family. And you know, I think that that's more important than anything else. But my business and my life and all of my work has been across the whole Hawke's Bay region. And, and the Napier electorate is such a big part of that. You know, we spend all our holidays up in Mahia, you know, and we have a lot of friends and connections in the whole area of, of the Napier electorate. So, you know, I think that it's just as much about where you choose to live and where you want to start your family and, and you know, live and work. So, you know, that's as much as important to me as anything else. And you've had a successful business, obviously, with your family-run business, Nimmin and & Sons. And now, what are you doing now? So currently I'm the transport manager at Hawke's Bay Regional Council. So taking my transport specialist skills and, and applying that to a larger degree at a community level. So that's been really awesome. We've made a lot of change. Uh, and I've been able to see firsthand how the government works, um, how our partnerships with you know, government agency funding and, and you know, putting things in play. And really it's been about community engagement, listening to the community, seeing what they need, helping them access services. Uh, and providing them an improved network. So, you know, being able to apply that and apply my knowledge at a larger scale has been huge. Really enjoyed the role. And if elected, will you continue on with that role? So, no, I couldn't do that. Um, unfortunately, not yeah. enough of me to go around. Um, but, you know, we've got, a, we've got a plan in place to help me transition out. And, I've, you know, I always come into any role to, you know, set people up and make change. And, and I've got an awesome team in there. So I know that they'll do a great job. And what do you believe are the key issues facing Napier? So the big ones, of course, for everybody is cost of living. Um, but for Napier particularly, you've got a huge amount of crime, um, gang crime, youth crime. You know, that's got to be addressed first and foremost. Three waters, of course, and, and you know, we all know that. Um, but of course, you know, we're major overspending from this government in Wellington and, and them telling Napier what Napier should do and not actually listening to the region at all. And what skill set do you bring? So I'm a good communicator. Uh, but I'm also a great listener and, and first and foremost, you know, I've grown up in the transport industry, I've been part of the tourism industry and I've been a business owner. Um, so I think a really big part for me is being uh, broad in my knowledge base, uh, being connected to people, listening and helping solve problems. So, you know, I like to think I've got a little bit of everything, um, but I really look forward to bringing that to Napier and helping people get ahead. Anything else you want to add? I think it's just to say that I, I look forward to meeting everybody. 
Uh, we didn't have a lot of time last time. We were disrupted by COVID. It's awesome that the party has selected early. We have almost a year to get out there and we can meet so many more people. So I'm really looking forward to that, knocking on every door um, and, and just getting out in the community, listening to the problems, helping people with whatever it might be that they need and, and making sure that Napier prospers.